Why Media Breaking News Why Media Group is a big breaking news. Warn condo shootings are going to be in the same way, including shooter or six victim, 66 year old woman. Jo has seriously injured and remain in hospital. Aaj press conference Kadharan, York Regional Police ne identify kiya hai gunman ko as 73 year old Francesco Villi. Jin panch victims ki hui maut, usme se teen the men aur do the women. So I did not have to do this. If you would have given me some comfort in my home, that's all I want. Comfort in my home. Why it's been denied? For seven years, why? You take me to court before a judge, and my one my one page of three, four hundred pages of evidence and truth, it been thrown in the garbage. So this is the law and justice that we live in. It is your justice, your fraud. Your police का कहना है कि सभी victims रहते थे condo building में. और उन्होंने कंफर्म किया है कि तीन विक्टिम्स उनमें से थे मेंबर्स ऑफ द कॉन्डो बोर्ड यॉर्क रीजनल पुलिस का कहना है कि उन्हें नोटिफाई किया गया है कि कॉर्नर्स ऑफिस वर्क कर रहा है टू आइडेंटिफाई द शूटिंग विक्टिम्स और उन्हें इस वक्त नहीं दी गई है परमिशन टू रिलीज देयर नेम पुलिस का कहना है कि मल्टीपल सर्च वारंट्स होंगे एग्जीक्यूट और तब तक इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स कांट रूल एनीथिंग आउट एसआईयू की स्पोक्स पर्सन क्रिस्टी डेंटे ने रिपोर्टर्स को आज बताया कि Shooter ke paas si semi-automatic handgun jo recovered hui thi at the time of scene. Thank you, Laura. Hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for attending here today. We're here to provide an update on the investigation into the tragic shooting that took place in the city of Vaughan last night. But first, on behalf of all members of our organization, York Regional Police, I extend our deepest condolences to the friends and families of the victims in this case. We are truly shocked and sorry for such an, that such an incident took place in our region. We will do anything we can to assist and support the loved ones and anyone else impacted by this heartbreaking incident. Our family liaison officers are supporting the families and offering what comfort they can, as is Victim Services of York Region, which is also engaged. As you're aware, and I reported last night at 7.20 p.m., York Regional Police responded to an active shooter incident at a condominium building located at 9235 Jane Street. As I mentioned at the scene, officers arrived to find a horrific scene, with five deceased victims having been shot and killed in three separate units. As you're aware, there was an in, uh, interaction between the officers and a 73-year-old male suspect, a resident of that building, who died on the third floor. He's been identified as Francesco Villi. The officer in that interaction is a 24-year veteran of York Regional Police, and he very likely saved lives by his actions last night. This is now the focus of an investigation by the Special Investigations Unit, and we can't speak in any more details to that. In terms of identifying the five deceased victims, we've been notified that the Office of the Chief Coroner will be confirming their identities and we're not yet permitted to release their names through the coroner's office. We can tell you that there were three adult males and two adult females. A sixth victim, a 66-year-old woman, was seriously injured and remains in hospital. And as a victim, we'll be protecting her identity. We can say all victims reside in the condo building. Three victims were members of the condominium board. But the motive for the shooting remains part of this very complicated, very fluid investigation, which is still ongoing at this time. Multiple search warrants are and will be executed, and we continue to interview witnesses, and until that's complete, we can't rule anything out. But rest assured, detectives in the Homicide Bureau are working diligently to find the answers in this horrible incident. And finally, I want to thank last night's first responders, our officers, York Region paramedics, York Region Transit, and everyone who responded quickly and professionally to the scene as well as our emergency response unit, which conducted a thorough search of the building to clear it safely so residents could return to their homes. 
We realize a crime of this magnitude is traumatizing for friends and family who at this time of year, especially, now must deal with the tragic death of their loved ones. Difficult as well for residents in the building and the surrounding area, and we know for the larger community. We will continue to offer our sympathy and support as we work through this investigation, and we'll provide further updates when they become available. Thank you. Born Mayor Steven Del Duca Nikai ki is just unspeakable to imagine that this has taken place here in our community. Is kisat unna nikai ki flags would fly at half mast at all city buildings today. Pradhan Mantri Trudeau ne apne tweet mein kaha ki I am keeping you in my thoughts. To the person who was injured, I am wishing you a fast and full recovery. And to the first responders, thank you for your hard work and your professionalism. York Regional Police का कहना है कि किसी के पास भी इस इंसिडेंट से जुड़ी ज़्यादा जानकारी है तो वह उन्हें कॉल कर सकते हैं एट वन टू एट 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 सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर टू थ्री वन टू एट 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 सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर टू थ्री एक्सटेंशन सेवन एट सिक्स फाइव एस आई यू उन चार्यो का भी कहना है कि अगर किसी ने भी देखा है ये इंसिडेंट या फिर है किसी के पास भी फोटोज या फिर वीडियो सर्वेलियंस सेल फोन वीडियो डैश कैम वीडियो तो वह कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं उन्हें एट वन एट जीरो जीरो सेवन एट सेवन एट फाइव टू नाइन वन एट जीरो जीरो सेवन एट सेवन एट फाइव टू नाइन लेटेस्ट ऑन दैनिक न्यूज अपडेट्स के लिए आप बने रहें वाई मीडिया के तमाम प्लेटफॉर्म्स के साथ वाई मीडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज